Hey everyone, so just kind of like another theory here because um, for Ninjago season seven, we do see that Kozu will be coming back. Now, on my one of my past videos, um, I think it's my last one that I just made, but um, I talked about you know like some, another theory of mine, you know, some sort of mind control about how the villains are all getting together, you know, just to do one thing. Like, you know, it seems that like they're all doing the same thing. So, you know, it's kind of odd, you know, I don't think I'd see all the villains just go together like that. And just So, that's kind of where I got the mind control thought. But, now, I, this is just another theory because I saw Kozu and Stone Warriors in, um, you know, some of the sets and stuff. Um, they could also just be under the control of whatever it is that they're doing. Um, you know, if there's some other way of doing it, but, you know, if not... Um, as we know, the only way to really command the Stone Army is to have the Helmet of Shadows. And the Helmet of Shadows, yeah, it's all, whoever's wearing it controls them. So, you know, kind of, they can be good or bad, kind of, you know. Whoever's wearing them, you know, it kind of decides that. But, um, you know, as we saw, the last saw, last time we saw the Helmet of Shadows was Dareth wearing it um, in episode 26. So, um, just makes you wonder if, like, you know, Yang or just one of them, someone will get their hands on the Helmet of Shadows, maybe. You know, who knows? Um, could someone get their hands on the Helmet of Shadows to get control of the Stone Army? Um, but the thing is, though, you know, they're getting control of all these other villains, too. So, it may be some other, it may be something else, too, that they're somehow getting in control of these villains. That's what I'm thinking. That's my theory. That they're getting, they're, you know, they're kind of controlling these villains. Not really just, you know, gathering them up and, um, you know, going against them. I feel like they're more being controlled. Um, that's my theory. So, if they're being all controlled, you know, the Stone Army, would it be, you know, would someone get the Helmet of Shadows or would it just kind of be just one thing, one separate thing that's kind of getting them all together? Um, clearly, the Stone Army, you know... I don't exactly know where it even went after the final battle. I don't think it was destroyed. It just kind of disappeared, you know. And it just, I don't know where it went. I don't know where they went. So it's kind of its kind of odd. I know there's one big stone warrior guy. One of the big ones in the Cryptarian prison. That's the only one we know about right now that is still around Ninjago at the moment. Um, after the final battle. But besides that, we haven't seen any others. So we don't exactly know where they went, but... Clearly, I don't think they're gone. They just went somewhere. I don't know where or how, but they did. So, it's kind of odd, but what do you guys think about this? Do you think the Helmet of Shadows is going to have some sort of role in Season 7, along with all these other villains returning and all that stuff?